Hey Lashy Kids and Driving Mutants, I'm Lady Shasha, Mistress of the Snark. Today we're going to get into Skinless aka The Ballad of Skinless Pete. This was requested by The Daily Heflin. Unfortunately I could not find the original comment to screen capture it, but I did write a reminder note to myself that The Daily Heflin had suggested this movie. And now we're here. Skinless was made by Dustin Mills Productions. I haven't heard of them before, so I went in with no specific expectations. But the title and poster art promises some gory body horror, and that's what I'm here for. I actually went in blind off the strength of the title and the poster art. I've been kind of avoiding watching horror trailers anyways, because a lot of times they show too much of the movie and they end up spoiling it. This is a movie that has full frontal nudity within the first 50 seconds of the film, but not male frontal nudity. Was the actor too shy? They even have a character walk in, comment on seeing his package, but they don't show it to us. The first rule of filmmaking is show, don't tell. This character's name is Peter Peel, pun intended. He's some type of scientist that steals a Play-Doh worm. I mean, a parasitic Play-Show worm from the biology department of some university that they do not name. They should have just went with Miskatonic University. That's public domain, you know, you could use that. He thinks that he can genetically alter this worm so that it can cure cancer. He and his ex-girlfriend are still partners within this research scenario. Their investor is pressing them to start clinical trials before he's willing to give them any more funding. So Peter decides to test it on himself since he has been diagnosed with cancer. This is what gets the ball rolling towards the body horror that we're all here for. Unfortunately, the doctor loses his mind and becomes a bit murderous. What he wears to cover up his skinlessness was reminding me of the Invisible Man, and I wondered if both the clothing and the madness were inspired by the Invisible Man. There's a scene of a naked woman strapped to a gurney that reminded me a little bit of a scene from Reanimator. If you're going to make a gory movie, Reanimator is a great movie to take inspiration from. Now, I read on IMDb that a theatrical version was shot and abandoned for being too over the top. Release the Mills cut. Some of the makeup effects look really great and some are just okay. The ones that are great are pretty impressive. Look at this art. It's gooey. It's disgusting. I love it. Also according to IMDb, the bulk of the practical effects were done in camera. Now you already know how I feel about this type of color grading so I'll spare you that complaint. And I'm not a fan of the lighting. That said, I do acknowledge that this was done on a micro budget. They actually shot this in the director's house. So I'm assuming they did the best they could with what they had. This was only 80 minutes long and I appreciate that. That's all the story that was there. I hate when movies try to pad out the runtime when they know the story ended 30 minutes before the end of the movie. This movie is not going to be for everyone. It's a very small indie micro budget gore fest. If you like The Incredible Melting Man or Body Melt, which I will be reviewing later this month, don't worry, you might dig this. Thank you to Daily Heflin for suggesting this movie. At the time of this recording, Skinless was available on Tubi. But like I always say, don't take my word for it. Watch it for yourself. Just because I love something doesn't mean you won't hate it. And just because I hate something doesn't mean you won't love it. Have you seen Skinless? Do you like body horror and gory movies? Let me know in the comments. Until next time. Hey, did you know that I work for tips now? You could hit me up on Venmo or Cash App. Well, I'm happy to receive the type of coin that jingles. I'd love to receive the type that folds. Somebody show these people where the subscribe button is. They don't know what they're doing.